Okay, there are 50 stocks Goldman Sachs believe are hedge funds favorites and I'm going to share those with you and then I'm going to analyze them to see which ones uh, I happen to like and which ones I think uh, are rather good. Does that sound fair? Uh, these are the names, but don't just go into them willy-nilly. Actually, I think we can filter and do better than that, can't we? So, first things first, and by the way, I've got 111 slides on here, so hold your horses. Uh, first of all, don't forget, follow, like, share, and all of those wonderful things. So they've got Microsoft on there, and it's one that I happen to hold. And I'll tell you which ones are in my proof-filtered list in a second as well. You can also see, as well as the hedge funds, what the banks think. I've, I've put that uh, over there as well in some of the latest headlines, and also the charts for you. So, yes, I like that. Amazon, I like. You might need to pause this at times, because I'm going to run through these pretty sharpish. Uh, and you can see my analysis of those. Meta, I like as well. And again, these are the most popular with hedge funds. You can see the direction I've drawn. Drawn. Pause at any point you wish. Alphabet's on there and in my portfolio as well. Uber isn't uh, in my portfolio. They think it's a good one. A lot of the banks think so as well. And you can see it's had this upward trend for a while. So I may well look at this later on uh, as a special situation uh, within all the stuff that I do. And actually, quite a few more stocks to go on. Apple's in mine as well. Don't forget, arpishpatel.com forward slash links and subscribe and like. Okay, so um, with Apple, you can see what the banks are saying. That's what the banks are saying. It's And Goldman Sachs say it's one of the most popular with the hedge funds. Well, of course it is. NVIDIA, well, it doesn't need any introduction. You can see it over there with the banks and the direction. I bought this back in January. It's been the best performer. I've also owned Visa as well. And again, very popular with the banks. It's come off a bit since hitting that upward channel. Uh, but I'm not worried about that. Could it drop 25%? I doubt it. Uh, especially because the MACD is flat and are rising well. Salesforce is in mine as well. And well, you can see it there. And very popular with the hedge funds. Netflix, I don't own. It's in there. It's been doing rather well, not just this year, since, well, about a year ago. It's skyrocketed. Uh, it's gone up 100% in a year. And popular with the banks as well, with the exception of Benchmark, who don't like it, but everyone else does. MasterCard, I own as well. And you can see the direction I'm projecting. It's not gone up in a straight line. Everybody else seems to like it. Horizon Therapeutics, which I've had on and off in the past. You can see what it's doing and the projections that I said and the dangers. Uh, not one that I've got, not one that I'm particularly happy with. Berkshire Hathaway uh, is over there and obviously popular with hedge funds. You can imagine why. Activision Blizzard, really? Okay. Uh, I thought we'd done with that. It's got a bid uh, in it. What do they think is going to happen on the upside now? Anyway, there's a whole load of buys on it. Alibaba Group, uh, so that's been on a downward trend for a while. And despite the banks liking it, it being very popular with hedge funds, it's got what you might call a reverse head and shoulders, which means that distance there is what? 60 to about 120. So that's 60. It should go up to 180 on that projection, uh, which should make it somewhere up here. Can it do that? Potentially. And I guess that's what a lot of people are thinking. Uh, advanced micro devices, you can see the direction of travel, you can see what the banks are thinking on that one, and what I projected as well. Um, uh, Mercado Libra, it's been in my portfolio in the past. Strong upward trend, all the banks love it, so I can see why it's popular with hedge funds. S&P Global, again, reverse head and shoulders, upward trend, MACD flat to rising, all the banks saying buy. This might be one of my special situations. Uh, I'll put that into my Telegram channel as well. Tenant Healthcare, mm, okay, yeah, I can see what they're saying about that one. Not too bad. Trans Dim, yeah, upward, upward, fine. United Health Group, very popular with hedge funds. It's been a bit sort of sideways for quite a while now, for about a year, no, one and a half years. Uh, even though the banks like it, the hedge funds like it, but it's not taken off quite yet. Palo Alto Networks, my friend Nikesh Aurora is their chief executive. And look at that shoot ahead. Uh, yeah, looks good. And he's really worked miracles there. Taiwan Semiconductor I own. And again, reverse head and shoulders. You can see that. You can see the projection, what I've projected. And I like it. Flex. Right direction. Everything looking good on that one. Remember what I said to you, though. Remember what did I say? What did I say? Don't forget to do all of this. Okay. Uh, Humana. A healthcare company, lots of buys on the banks, popular as Goldman said, uh, with the hedge funds. And this one's broken of a downward trend going upwards and now buys on everything. 
IAC, New Relic. Uh, for my great investments program, people, I will look at these in more detail and tell you which I'm going to put in my special situations and any ideas that I like. I don't like this one, for instance. PayPal, I've had that for a long time. It seems to have based at 60. We thought it had based at 70 and at 80 and so on. So, Valaris, okay, upward trend, looks okay. Bit of a more high risk one. VMware, VMware used to be huge. Uh, and again, reverse head and shoulders could go up towards 160. Lots of holds. You know, if you're risk averse, you're not going to do it. Apollo Global Management, right direction, right intention. Constellation Energy, yeah, I can see the direction. I can see what the argument there is. And lots of banks loving it, as well as, of course, what they said before. Eli Lilly going upwards. Uh, upward trend, yeah, fine. I'm not sure if I've got Eli. I might have Eli Lilly. Energy transfer, I don't have. Same direction, looks good. EQT, upward direction, looking good, not bad. Uh, Fiserv, I've hold, held in the past. I don't think I hold it at the moment. And this is where we are at the moment, a bit flat. GoDaddy, uh, no, sideways. So not happy with that one. JP Morgan, I own, and you can see it there. Again, you might want to pause on some of these. Workday, lots of adverts with Workday. And indeed, it's been going up and quite well. I think, guess you'd be expecting it to go to that top. They're certainly spending like crazy on ads. Okay, AirCap, and that's where we are. Mm, I'm looking at that, I don't get excited by it, I'm afraid. Broadcom, uh, I might have that one, and it, yeah. I think we picked it down there where I drew that and it's already hit the target. So fantastic. Well done, Broadcom. Chesapeake Energy. What have you got going with that one? Mm, mixture. Yeah, no, I don't like the fact it's dropped off that uh, upward trend. Datadog. Yeah, up from that downward trend has broken out and going up and all these banks liking it as well. Iveric Bio. Ooh, look at that. <sighs> Fine. Have they had a bid or something? Uh, though there's a lot of holes, so it might be a bit overbought. Spotify, uh, downward trend is broken. That presumably is going to go to 315, so it's going to double. And lots of buys in there as well. T-Mobile, no, no, falling off a cliff, sorry. Take Two Interactive, yeah, we thought here it would do well. It didn't, it fell off a cliff. It's now back here, and it looks like, I'm sorry, I'm not going to give it another go. First Citizen Bonk shares, boom, after that. Who knew? Okay, it dropped off a cliff and then went up 100%. Service now I own, and look at that upward trend. Looking good, looking well, not bad. Walmart, uh, no, I don't like that chart. It just looks too messy and too volatile. So the stocks on the approved filtered list that I have are Microsoft, Apple, NVIDIA, Advanced Micro, Eli Lilly, Broadcom, and Service Now. Uh, I won't run through those ones again because I've already done it once. Thank you all very much. I hope you found that useful, educational, and entertaining. That's where you want to go. You want to go to arpistrell.com forward slash links. Thanks very much. Follow, like, and um, send me hugs even. I don't mind, you know. Okay, thank you.